is our last day and we are so excited. So excited, but also so sad. But we are celebrating today with ab work and just itty bitty shoulder work, which is amazing, okay? But don't forget, the meal plan and nutrition is critical, okay? You could do all the crunches in the world, but it's never gonna give you the same results that proper nutrition will. You've gotta do it together. So if you haven't done that, what? It's the end of the program. I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> Just kidding. But check it out. Focus on that nutrition. And this isn't the end. Make sure you look on, okay? Look forward. See what our next programs are and see which one fits you and your journey at this moment, okay? Look into it and plan forward because this isn't the end. If it ends today, then we just kind of wasted the last 15 days. So you wanna make sure that you have a next thing to work on. Keep that progress going. Today, you will need tiny weights, just smaller weights, or we do have a resistance band to show you. If you've been using resistance bands this whole time, awesome, totally great. And we're gonna show you another option for one of our workouts with a resistance band today. And you'll also need a stability ball. So ready, our timing is 45 seconds of work. 15 seconds of rest. We are coming down to the floor with Courtney because she has the ball and no, I do not. <laughs> so, I'm gonna explain this work while she does it. This is called a ball pass. <laughs> so you're gonna pass the ball from your hands all the way down to your feet, touching the floor, coming back up, all, everything comes back down, touches the floor, up and down. If you ever feel your back lifting up off the floor, what do we do? push it back. And then also bend your knees, that way you're not doing a full, full extension in the body, okay? Bend the knees, keep the back nice and flat, and it will also just take off all the resistance, not all the resistance, but a good chunk of resistance from those abs. Give them a break for a second. Nice, and make sure you're breathing. Both, the, everything comes up, everything comes down. And everything comes up, nice. Now we're gonna come onto the ball and do ball crunches. If you want, you can come right into the middle, Courtney. Let's do that. So you're gonna set up on the ball so you can do crunches. Nice. You're just gonna crunch up. Crunch up, and you're gonna breathe, okay? Remember, if you're not breathing, we're not feeling half the work that we could be feeling in those crunches. So crunching up and down and up and down. You can always do this workout on the floor, not even a problem, and same with the ball passes. You're just gonna touch up and down. If you don't have a ball, not even a problem. What the ball does is it just gives us more of a range of motion, more of an arch, and more of an ability to come up, pushing hard into the ball, more range of motion. A few more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Okay, this one we're gonna do, you have an option to do it on the floor or I'll show you the option on the ball. But here's the option on the floor. Just go ahead and follow Courtney. So you're gonna bring your bum up super high and then down into a plank. So if you wanted to do this with a ball, you're gonna set your feet on it at about shin level. You're gonna pike up nice and high and down. Pike up and down. But even without the ball, it's quite the amount of work. And again, that ball just provides that instability that makes your body work twice as hard. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Ooh, whoa, now we're gonna do Russian twist. <laughs> Go ahead and set that ball aside. We're coming down to the floor. Russian twist. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, then bring your upper body back up to an angle, feet planted on the floor. Your hands are gonna come, just I just like to tap them together because it looks cute. You're gonna come down, bring your elbows down to the floor for a nice range of motion all the way. And I want you to keep it very slow. Okay, something that we see a lot is like, young grasshopper move. 
So I want you to slow it, slow it down. There's a saying my parents always tell me, and that is, you can do anything really, really fast, but slow it down to see like if you have mistakes. It's in Spanish, I don't know. But <laughs> it's so much easier to tell if you do or you don't know what the movement looks like if you slow it down. It makes it way harder. You know, Spanish. <laughs> also hard. <laughs> nice. We are coming down and we are alternating our knees. So we're gonna come down to our plank and just like we've set up, you're gonna come down to our plank and you're actually gonna tap your knee down to the floor. There you go. Nice, yep, just like that. So if you wanted to start on the floor with both knees down, you'll just do the opposite. So remember your feet are hip distance apart, set up in a full plank. And if you're starting down on your knees, you're just gonna do the opposite of what Courtney's doing. You're just gonna straighten one leg at a time. Nice. This is focusing really hard on challenging those low, low abs. And again, keeping your hips nice and square. The only things moving are your knees. Very nice. Now you're gonna grab those dumbbells and slowly come to a standing position. Now I call these rainbow presses because they look like rainbows. You're gonna take the weight in front of you, a nice light weight. You're gonna come up all the way in a circle, keeping the weights in front of the body the entire time. Okay, so nice soft elbows. You don't want to lock them out, but you just want to keep the weight in front of the body. And again, never behind or anything crazy. In front of the body, all the way up and all the way down. A nice controlled grip, but not white knuckling those dumbbells. So it's nice and soft. And we don't like to grip too hard or else we're putting too much work in our forearms, missing out on the real work. Nice, nice. Now we're gonna do front raises. So again, focusing on the shoulders, those rainbow presses, it's all shoulders. So now we're gonna go to the front, starting with the weight in front of the body, shoulders up, back, and down, raising up. Busy. Just stopping at shoulder level. No need to go any higher. Keep it nice and controlled. And again, never rocking the body, wiggling everything or using momentum to get it up, right? Nice and controlled movements. A few more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. So this next one is a bent over lateral raise. So you have the option of using your dumbbells or using your resistance tube. And I'm gonna show you both. If you wanted, are you gonna do these? Yes. So you're gonna start with your dumbbells. You're gonna bend over, hinging at the hips and opening up behind you. Yep. So this is working the rear delt. It's like the itty bitty button muscle. Kind of looks like when you put that thing in the turkey and it like pops out. That tiny, that cute. It's so perfectly round. So if you wanted to use a resistance band, I'm just gonna have you stand in the middle of it. Again, hinging at the hips and you're gonna open up. Okay. And I would use like one of the lightest weights one of the lightest weight resistance bands, lightest dumbbells you have, just because it is such a tiny muscle, that'll get burned, it will get burned out real easy. Two and one, very nice. Now we're coming back to those ball passes. If you wanna to come to the center here, you can just put your head right there. Nice. Nice, you can take over, take on over. Hey, front row seat <laughs> or something, <laughs> nice. Just don't want her to be blind with the sun. It's right in there, right? Right in your eyeballs. So remember, you're breathing. Hands come all the way up and then hands come all the way back down to over your head. <laughs> nice. And up, hands come back over your head. Very nice. 
keeping everything so flat. And remember, bend your knees or even just drop the ball, push it aside if you don't want that because it's just extra challenging to take it down. We love a challenge though. This is the last day of the workout, so don't fear a challenge. But if you need to take that modification, do it. Nice breathing. Very nice. Come on up onto your ball for some ball crunches. And just keep your head on the side again. Nice. Perfect. Hands at your temples. If you do need that help or that support under your, your neck, just the one hand is perfect. Nice. Crunching all the way. And what's cool about doing crunches on the ball is you can almost feel every single row of abs engage. So we have several rows of abs. And so every time you crunch up, you can feel every single one engage. That's something else I love about ball crunches. You can feel the entire core. You can even feel the whole back come back and engage as you resist backwards. So cool. Nice breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Do you want to try the pikes on this? <laughs> cool. You do your thing. So you're going to put it under your legs, almost like at shin level. You're gonna pike up, bring your bum up so high. Nice, and I would even roll it closer in. There we go. Bring your bum up nice and high. Nice, and then all down into a plank. And remember, you're gonna let your head just follow your spine all the way up and all the way down. Yep. So just let it move with your spine. How does that feel? <laughs> Pretty good, right? Nice, so keep your hips up a little bit for me. Keep your back nice and flat so you don't let your abs dip or your hips dip. You never want them to pass under the ball, okay? We only have six more seconds left. You can do it, you can do it. One more. She did it. Those are not hard, or those are not easy. <laughs> those are not hard. <laughs> Motivational speech by Andrea Minger. <laughs> Brought to you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice wide open arms as you rotate side to side. I love touching my elbows down because it also keeps my form, it makes, helps me make sure that I'm back far enough. So I'm really challenging my abs and my core strength when you touch down. Ten more seconds. Keeping that chest nice and high. Four, three, two, and one. Yes. Perfect. So now we are coming down into that plank and we're just gently alternating those knees. Whether you're starting down on your knees or up on your toes, you pick. Pick your level. But remember, we're always setting up our planks so our feet are hip distance apart and our knees are hip distance apart too. That really engages the full core. Keeping your hips and shoulders parallel the whole time. No moving or rocking. Very nice. Come on up nice and slow into those rainbow presses. Oops. Shake out the shoulders. Shoulders are up, back and down. Chest is lifted. Weight stays forward of the body the whole time. And if this is ever too much, just drop the weight. But you have to visualize that you're holding weight and create resistance all the way up and all the way down. You create your resistance. 
Make it feel like I'm there pushing your arms down so you have to resist up, okay? Nice. Up. Two and one. Very nice, front raises. And I'm gonna show you these to you like this as well. So you can grab it with an overhand grip, palms facing your legs, shoulders up, back and down. Nice, let me just raise up. With a resistance band, you can't raise as high because they're short, and that's fine. You just go as far as the resistance band will allow. So good. <laughs> Still breathing, everything's nice and tight. Nice, 10 more seconds, so I'm gonna jump on those dumbbells. Get some full range. Three, two, and one. Nice, we have one more exercise. You can choose whether you do your resistance bands or your dumbbells. Remember, it's just an itty bitty muscle. This is our finisher. Slight bend in the knees, nice and soft. Bend in the hips, coming up and down. Don't walk out your elbows, keep it nice and soft. And again, you don't need to pass that shoulder level, okay? You don't have to like, Fly, fly away, <laughs> just enough to feel that tiny, tiny muscle. It is so little. Nice, five more seconds. Three, two, last one. Ah, we did it! 15 days three weeks of this challenge and you slayed it. I'm so proud of you. Make sure you, again, follow up. What's next? Make things happen, keep your progress going, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.